Hello, everyone. Welcome back once again to the Carnival Toy Review. I am, like always, your immortal toy master. Whoa. And today, in lieu of yesterday, and today, being the 37th WrestleMania! I thought it would be done. nothing more than appropriate to bring you out some of WrestleMania! WWE leader WrestleMania! Uh, yes. Um, I got a problem with my edge. Um, he's looking to the right. He's looking to the right. He don't look straight. He looks to the right. <coughs> Sorry, no corona. Did me a little dabski. Coffee, coffee, dabski, dooski. Anywho. Anywho, this is the press some of the WrestleMania line. Um, the son upstairs. Uh, Beans, as I call him. Uh, he has the other two. That's how I got the Build-A-Figure. Uh, Paul Engel. Erlinger. Excuse me. Paul Erlinger and Rocco. So, um, let's get into this review. Uh, as accessories, she comes with her title. And then one of them came with a head. One of them came with some arms, some legs, a torso, and a head. And uh, a dummy. Um, they came with some interchangeable hands. You got your rock and roll hands for Edge. And then China came with just some open mics and some fists. Fist cuffs. Bam, bam. Fist cuffs. Um, that's pretty much it for accessories. So you could take his head, switch it with the bald head, so you can have the AOP manager. So you can do that. So let's do the Build-A-Figure first because he doesn't have a box or anything. So we'll slide Mr. Paul up here. Um, as for articulation, he does everything every other elite does. Um, and he comes with this dummy, which I wish he could keep his hand up or at least take this hand, turn it. See, this is why we need double jointed elbows. Because then he could take this hand, turn it as far as you can with some double elbows. You know, elbows. And then you'll be able to sit him on his hand, but he can't do that. So, yeah. I do like the the detail that they got in the dummy. Um, he's got his, to where his hand can go up the back. So, that's pretty cool. Um, rather than that, it's just, it's, it's an alright, uh, just a basic, alright, elite action figure of a person that, uh, has a puppet. So, here he is. Just wanted to show that off. First completed Build-A-Figure. Ever. Um, have no Marvel Build-A-Figures at all. <laughs> Complete. So, let's do one of these. So, here this one is. And he will not stand up, um... Too heavy, so we'll put him like that. And next we will do Miss Ninth Wonder of the World from Lond Londary, New Hampshire. At a height of five foot ten and a finisher of the pedigree. The career highlights of the WWE Women's Champion, Intercontinental Champion, and WWE Hall of Fame inductee. The Ninth Wonder of the World dominated Ivory and became the new WWE Champion at Wrestlemania 17. X7. So I do believe that's 17. So, And here she is in her purple attire with the purple headband up here. She looks good, looks good. She's got the Women's Championship around her waist. Um, she's got all the art articulation of a regular women's. She's got the pivotal top up here she's got the waist movement the thigh rotation the waist waist rotation not movement waist rotation thigh rotation um that's that's sad that that's as far as she can do the splits like that's pretty sad so she can't even do the splits um she's got double knee joints without pins 
so she is seamless. Um, she has the ankles, she has the foot, she has the bicep, single elbow joints, um, and the hair does get in the way for uh, movement, so that's about it, and we'll get into this box real fast, because there she is all posing all, posing like China did, you know, Miss Ninth Wonder of the World kicking ass over her, if she'll stand up properly. And there's China. And then here's her box you have on the back. You got your China picture. Um, you got where she came from, her either weight or finisher, the WrestleMania. The other people in line, the Goldberg, the Shawn Michaels, the Paul Ar <coughs> Paul Endor. Endor, whatever. Engling. Engler. Engling. I don't know. Ordor. I don't know why I said that. Paul Engling. And then on the front, you got China. Him again. China, WrestleMania. China. And that's it. That's about it. And then, and then, and then, ding, 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 ding. Yeah, we'll set that right there. And last but not least, you have Edge. Um, I'm very disappointed at my Edge because his eyes are off center. Um, let's see, he's looking to the left. Um, I like the coat, like the elbow pads, and I like the baseball bat. Even though the baseball bat should be black, I'm probably gonna paint it black so I can give it to Sting. But here's a baseball bat. Um, don't think Edge needs a baseball bat. I don't even know why he had a baseball bat. Um, he's got the, the Matt Hardy pants. Because for a while he was wearing pants. Um, and they look like the Matt and Jeff pants. Um, you got the ankle movement down here for on a ball joint. Um, rather than that, it does everything, everything else does. You get, it says Edge here. You got the, the, the... Edge Sun here. Um, got the rated R on the back. Got the nice hair flow. Um, rather than that, um, all the paint is not in all the right places. He looks like he's looking left, and I don't like it. Um, I should have probably picked up another one, but I'm not worried about it. I'm not that big of an Edge head. So, Edge is cool. Need an updated Christian. Uh, when he comes, probably, he'll probably get his AEW Christian figure, you know, wait for that to come out. Um, and let's get into this box. Hailing from Ontario, Canada, at a height of, <clears throat> at a weight of 241 pounds, and a height at 6 foot 5, career highlights is WWE Champion, Intercontinental Champion, WWE Hall of Fame inductee in one of the most intense hardcore matches in WWE history. The Rated R Superstar. Upbeated the hardcore legend Mick Foley at WrestleMania 22. So that's what this outfit is, is WrestleMania 22 outfit when he fought Mr. Mick Foley in the hardcore match. So... There it is. And here's his box. Um, and you get Edge, the line, um, Edge, Edge. First time in the line. I forgot to say that. That's Paul Engling, Engling with Rocco's first time in this line. So you build them, you get another first time in the line. I love first times in the lines because they're always the hardest ones to find. So most of my stuff... I try to find first time in the line. Um, so that is about it for this video. If you liked this video, like, subscribe, leave me a comment down below on, um, I don't know. Just leave me a comment down below. We'll hit it up. We'll chat. We'll talk. We'll learn some more stuff about WWE and wrestling and some stuff about you, some stuff about me and some stuff and stuff and stuff and stuff. And always remember... Two. Hen. Shen. Beedoo boo boo boo.